He's all of 38 and an avid Call of Duty player. But Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman Al Saud, or sometimes even called MBS, the de facto ruler of Saudi Arabia, has his fingers firmly on the oil-rich country's reforms also. With a full face beard and dressed in a traditional Arab robe and sandals, he has overseen the biggest transformation in the modern history of Saudi Arabia. He has had his share of controversies also. On Monday, the Saudi Crown Prince and Prime Minister Narendra Modi held the first leaders' meeting of the Strategic Partnership Council in Delhi and discussed key issues of bilateral cooperation. In India for the G20 summit, Mohammed bin Salman or MBS was accorded a state visit for the bilateral meeting with PM Modi. The Crown Prince said, we will work together to create a great future for both countries. This was while congratulating India for holding the G20 summit successfully. The future of Saudi Arabia is in his hands and age is on his side. Mohammed bin Salman's rise to power started after he was appointed the Deputy Crown Prince in 2015 by his father, King Salman. Over the last six years, Mohammed bin Salman has enacted considerable changes in his historically conservative country while solidifying his influence as the de facto ruler. He is a Bachelor in Law from King Saud University, Prince Mohammed bin Salman has pledged to create a more moderate Saudi Arabia and is actively quoting foreign investors to back his expansive Vision 2030 plan, which aims to lessen the country's heavy dependence on oil. Under his leadership, Saudi Arabia has organized a film festival, operas, a Formula One Grand Prix and a professional wrestling event. The Islamic religious police has also been defanged. Cinemas have been reopened and foreign tourists are now welcome in Saudi. Prince MBS has loosened limitations on women's rights, allowing them to drive, go to athletic events and concerts with males and apply for passports without the consent of a male guardian, reflecting the ambitions of Saudi Arabia's young population. The $500 billion NEOM project on the Red Sea coast, which is intended to rely on solar power and will be staffed by robots is possibly his most ambitious endeavor. It is a significant advancement for humanity, according to the prince himself. But MBS has come in for a lot of criticism for jailing critics. The purge of the country's elite and the murder of journalist Jamal Khashoggi. In 2017, under his anti-corruption drive, over 200 members of the Saudi elite were locked in the Ritz-Carlton until they handed over their assets, totaling to billions of dollars. In 2018, Washington Post columnist Khashoggi was murdered in the Saudi consulate in Istanbul, allegedly on the orders of the Crown Prince. However, Saudi Arabia's leadership under Prince Mohammed is favoured more by the Muslim-majority countries than its arch-rival Iran's. Across 13 Islamic countries, from Morocco to Pakistan, the median approval of the Saudi Arabia's leadership was much higher than that of Iran's leadership in 2022, according to a Gallup survey. Despite MBS's dramatic role in shaping Saudi policy, the country's economic strategy is built on a set of considerably more conventional and pragmatic rules than flashy futurism. This is according to the Washington DC-based Middle East Institute. Riyadh's new plan mostly depends on boosting internal markets. The goal is to raise consumer debt and lower citizens' expectations from the government. Saudi Arabia's authorities seek to develop a service-based economy, American-style consumption and a leaner government that is prepared to cut expenditure, sell off assets and weather a decrease in the demand for oil. Prince Mohammed bin Salman is also a favourite of world leaders who line up at his doors for everything from investment to weapon contracts and currency swaps to increased oil production. The Saudi prince is also known to be a fun-loving person with a taste for a rich lifestyle. Prince Mohammed bin Salman is reported to own a $500 million yacht, a French chateau and a $450 million Leonardo da Vinci painting. He is also popular for treating friends 
and relatives to lavish roast lamb meals in luxury desert camps. Under this rich and reformist Prince Mohammed, Saudi Arabia will likely see the biggest transformation. King Salman, his father, is now 87 years old. Prince Mohammed will likely be the youngest ever to take the throne of Saudi Arabia. And the Crown Prince already has a firm grip on the day-to-day -day affairs of Saudi Arabia. He's bound to leave a deep imprint on his country. Do tell us what you think about this video in the comment section. And for more news updates, subscribe to India Today.